<laughs> so with the uh with with your arc cards, you said that you bought six Intel Arc GPUs. Uh yes, I am up to six so far. Uh, I've got one in my desktop computer. I've got one in my home theater computer. I've got one in my server, and then I've got and then I've got three more that are like uh the the other versions. So like the five eighty, the the three eighty, and then another undisclosed one that the uh, I'm uh testing testing out for somebody else because mm-hmm, mm-hmm. you know he wants to work work right now. And I don't want to like talk about that one because mm-hmm, mm-hmm. you know it's a secret secret. Not that it's a secret model. It's an existing model, but mm-hmm. it's got special sauce going on with it that we're working on a low key project for. <laughs> right, I see. Yeah, it it it's a contract for a customer. Mm-hmm. But uh, I'm using it on the HTPC because the HTPC cannot decode AV1 because it's it's got that old CPU in it. Mm-hmm. But so, but you know, you can buy a an Intel Arc A380 which doesn't require PCI Express power. Uh, mm-hmm. Even though they got the plug for it, you don't need it. Uh, you could just slot the card in, and, and it can draw from the bus. So, mm. And uh, that one supports AV1 decoding, as well as encoding, which is why it's in my server. I so was... my entire media library at this point is AV1. Which, by the way, shrunk an 8 terabyte uh, data, st- data set mm-hmm. to almost 3 terabytes. And I have seen no loss in quality whatsoever. Fuck. AV1 is a fantastic codec. More people should use it. And yes, YouTube supports it. Yeah, they. I think they support it for streaming now. I, when do they start? Uh, that? Yes. Yeah, you you can stream uh, AV1 and HEVC to YouTube. Uh, that's HEVC was came out like last year, and then AV1 was just earlier this year. Mm-hmm. I know Epis. Epos Vox did like a live stream like the same day that they uh, released it. I think we're still waiting on AV1 on Twitch though. That, no. Yeah. Uh, Twitch has promised AV1. They've been promising AV1 for like five years now, but it requires a lot of hardware upgrades because mm-hmm. it turns out that Twitch is still using a lot of 10 series GPUs. <laughs> well, G- 10 series equivalent because you know they're buying the Enterprise ones. Right, 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 right. Series. Sure is for that but uh that's what they're working on so the and uh you know twitch is weird with mm-hmm. uh how their setup is because you know twitch is owned by amazon you would think that amazon would just like go go and say hey twitch here's a pile of money upgrade your crap that's not how it works mm-hmm. uh, apparently uh twitch is effectively a an entirely independent company that even though they run through aws they still have to pay aws <laughs> well my understanding is the reason why they uh amazon bought twitch was for the tech not for the actual platform my understanding is twitch doesn't make the money uh no uh, i would be surprised that twitch does make any form of profit whatsoever with the with you know the amount of transcoding that they have to do alone mm. not not just in storage the transcoding because that's where that's you you think uh you think storage is expensive in the cloud you ain't paid for hardware acceleration yet <laughs> I I I have priced those. Uh, that's like a thousand dollars an hour. <laughs> no thanks. <laughs> There's a but. Uh, go on. Uh, but yeah. Uh, Twitch does not make any money. But the one thing that Twitch has that uh, Amazon wants is mm. patents. Mm. Which, if you're a U.S. business, you want to file as many patents as you possibly can because that's mm-hmm. uh, because you know if you're in technology, that's where your money is. Hmm. Before we get out way off topic, I actually was considering buying a uh, A380 just solely for the sake of having an AV1 encoder and decoder. Because I just shifting that off of my like AMD GPU, because the AMD the AMD GPU encoder is not very good. It's really not very good. It it's better. But yeah, it's better. sure. <laughs> but that's saying like, you know. This pile of shit is better than this other pile of shit. Like, yeah, it's but it's still a pile of shit. Like, I don't, I don't want to. Well, eat it's it. not really a pile of shit anymore. It's just a pile of crap. Yeah, that's true. It's, I, it. I would like to buy an Nvidia card. Like, I really would, but I just don't want to deal with the nonsense that is an Nvidia card on Linux. I really don't. Well, uh, my recommendation, especially for like Arch Linux users, is that mm-hmm. if they're going to buy an Nvidia GPU. Just use the LTS kernel. 
That's fair. Now, I know Zany came out and, and made a video the other day saying that you don't want to ever use the LTS kernel on Linux. Uh, that's patently wrong. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, if if software is giving you an issue because of your kernel version, it's because that software done uh, bork, borked itself. Or, you know, yet another Arch package maintainer is building their package wrong. Okay. Which, that's been a bit of a crusade myself. I'm already banned from the Arch Linux GitLab. <laughs> what did you do on the... Wait, I'm sorry, what? Yeah, uh, I, I, it's called, I open a package build, I look wow. at it, I go, that's compiled wrong, that's compiled wrong, that's compiled wrong, and then I open an issue on the package mm -hmm. with a link to the Arch Linux philosophy where they ship vanilla packages without vanilla features. 